Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of RimWorld with myself, Lewis. We really have to have a great day as always. We're back with the Colony, Toxos, John, Minty, Turtle, Orange, the new guy on the block, Roughchild, and Nico. I just want to make sure Roughchild is actually a guy before I keep saying a guy. Yeah, it is a guy. Good stuff. So in the last episode, we managed to get Orange. We've also got ourselves some more batteries, which is very nice because these are going to allow us to save up any power that we might have a little bit of an issue with. As well as getting raided a few times, our area here is seriously kicking some bum, which is exactly what I wanted. But I think what we're going to do today is I would like to start, firstly, increasing the speed because they're never going to wake up otherwise, but I would like to start building some areas around here, which I think is going to be a good idea. A trade ship is passing by an exotic good trader. Uh -huh. Have we got any money? I can't actually see if we have money because my recording stuff's in the way. Let's go have a look. Rough child, early morning. Things need to be done. We have 548. We have anything that can be sold. A pistol. Uh, we have a spare pistol. Have it. And can we buy anything good? Power armor. 2,000. That's insane. Uh, look at all this artwork. Look at this art. It's 2,000 for a normal silver sculpture. We are making... Sculptures out of the wrong thing. Uh, we've got... Oh, they haven't got any. I really wanted to sell that then. Uh, oh, squirrel skin. They don't want it. Wow. That really sucked. But hey, you know what? The, the next one that comes will have all the things. I, I have hope. I cross my fingers, my toes, everything that can be crossed. So we're going to start building new rooms along here. We'll do one at a time because it does take them a little bit of... Uh, little bit of time to do that and we haven't really got much in the way of a oh look they're building those uh, little areas for me oh thank you yeah we haven't really got anyone in the way of a miner i think the next time we get someone we're going to dedicate a miner the chances are we're probably going to get someone like terminator from the first time we did it but this would be kind of nice if we do get a dedicated miner or construction like mining construction would be perfect that's probably exactly what i would like yes so let's set up our home zones because we're going to need to do that to make sure that all of the cleaning is taken care of. And as you know, I'm a big fan of making sure people clean up after themselves. You know, you have your breakfast in the morning, you wash up your plates. We're not animals here. We may have random piles of dead bodies. We don't have random piles of dead bodies because we've been melting them away. Good stuff. So our people are no longer heathens. We're all wearing parkas and we're carrying M4s. And that's exactly what I call a good society. <laughs> good stuff and we're also getting our food in which is really nice we've got like 600 potatoes 52 we had like nearly 900 in the last episode i think but it did just go up to 705 so we're keeping up on the food from which is nice 30 mils which is exactly what i wanted hopefully we're just gonna get a new person that's really my fault on the matter we just need to get new guys in uh and i'm kind of thinking about opening up a casket but i don't know if i want to do that you know, apparently they can yield good or bad. It's kind of like Pandora's box. You don't know, you don't know what you're going to get. You could get a squirrel. You could get a cybernetic slug. You could get a random person. You could get a builder and a construction worker, which would be spot on. But I don't think we're going to get that. I don't know. I'm really... The thing is, I haven't watched any videos on it. I haven't read anything about them. Well, I know what they do, but I haven't read anyone saying, Oh my god, I got a, 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 a petrified snail come out. But I, I didn't... I haven't read any of those horror stories to make myself scared, so the surprise will be real. And that's kind of the main thing. That's what's making me so excited to do it, but also so scared to do it at the same time. Because that could mark the end of our village as we know it. So let's uh, let's start by doing this. We're not actually going to put any doors here yet. We can, obviously, what we're going to do here is we're going to have two rooms. We're going to build like a... Uh, how to put it kind of like a you know like a little hotel like loads of little rooms it's gonna look nice but uh the people won't mind having their room walked through by someone else to get out at least i don't think they're gonna mind as long as they knock i guess you know as long as people knock then uh we're not gonna have a problem here so let's uh do that we're gonna want to get a lamp in here as always so let's get a lamp down and we're gonna want to bring the power through because remember we've only got the front walls as conduit walls so we're gonna need to make sure that we bring that down a little bit and then once that's built we can click the reconnect button i think we've got a reconnect button yeah reconnect and uh, we'll be able to do that which is gonna be good as well as getting a floor in there you know we're gonna need a floor so let's get a wooden floor because we need to make sure it looks fancy. If it doesn't look fancy, then we're failing at life. And we're also going to want to make sure we get that there, as well as a blue carpet for this area. Now, I know the blue carpets are taking, like, literally half a century. We probably would have rocketed out here by now before the time we get to do that. But I promise we are going to make some more of these 
uh, gardens, hydroponic basins, so that we can grow more materials that we can start using to make clothes, and eventually we can sell those clothes for amazing things. You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Let's have a little look at see. Money. How nearby? Uh, I would rather get this done, to be honest. All right, we've got this room almost made now. Our bed's going up, which is great. I'm not going to put another heater in there because I'm not going to put a door in there yet. I don't know if our guys are going to moan that they're sharing a room because, you know, really they're not sharing. Well, they are kind of sharing a room, but you could put a, a cloth there or a piece of towel or something and you wouldn't know that you're sharing a room. But I think they are going to moan about it. But I don't know. Like Maybe they'll moan because there's another bed in there. I don't know what counts. Like Maybe it needs to be a bed that has someone in it. Let's find out. Well, she's not moaning yet, which is a start. <laughs> but uh, once we get another person in, we'll see if they moan. If they don't moan, then great. It means I don't need to get another heater in there because the heat is currently heating up this whole area. And if they do moan, then I might put a door there. I don't know. Let's see how I feel, I guess. You know, they can't have it their way all the time because we have to make we have to make cuts here and there for the uh, for the greater for the greater cause of the village, which is sometimes not what people want, but it's what they have to have. You know, that's uh, that's democracy. So, do we open a casket? I'm seriously considering it to get someone else because. We need someone else. We need more hands on deck. We, we have a sturdy ship here. It's very nice. We have a well-oiled machine, but we're not really going anywhere because people have jobs to do. And while people have those jobs to do, things that I set out to get done aren't getting done because, you know, they have to prioritize, prioritize their jobs first. If they don't prioritize their jobs, we're not going to have food. If we don't have food, they're not going to eat. Then they'll moan, and then everyone will probably go mental and uh, slaughter each other. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So I am very tempted is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> I'm very tempted to open a casket, but I'm also uh, extremely terrified at the thought of, uh, you know, getting attacked by some sort of monster, which could very well happen. All right, so we've got this other room made. Let's get this decked out, and then we will uh, ponder the thought again of possibly going over and doing that. Let's... Uh, do this. And like I said already, I haven't looked at any videos or read anything on what actually comes out of those caskets, except I know that it could be something good or bad. That's all it said in the patch notes, so we'll have to see, won't we? We're going to need power here because I haven't replaced these walls. That's going to suck. It's going to look ugly, but hey, there we go. So we'll put a door there. Let's get another lovely wooden bed because we know how much they love their wooden beds. We'll get a lamp. I'm actually going to try out a different colour lamp. I know it's going to look weird, but we unlocked it in the research, and I've never used coloured lamps before. You know, I've, I've completed this game a few times now in other save files, but I've never used coloured lamps. I think we can experience that together. It's going to be a special time. Let's get a standing lamp that is red. Yes, this will be the red room. The, uh, <laughs> the I'm not going to say it. All right, let's get some power. Uh, not power, we're going to want some temperature so they don't... Have to wear their, uh, you know, cardigans all day. So let's get that done. And did I set this to have a wooden floor? I did, didn't I? Yeah, we'll have a wooden floor there, which is good. Plus that is... Uh, have we actually got marble before? I always do this. We have good stuff. I always tell them to make something out of something, and then I find out we don't have it. You know, there's about 50 million different types of materials in this. And it doesn't help that it's different on different maps. You know, like, different places you play have different types of uh, core materials, as well as some don't have others. Let's make sure that we get this little area here. Uh, where is it? Floors. You know, I think you'd, I would have, uh, you know, you'd think that I've touched this enough times that I would actually know where everything is, but chances are, no. There we go. Good stuff. So I think if we get another guy from our cryo area and don't get mauled on by, uh, you know, the living dead, I'm going to make them a builder and a worker. So they're going to prioritize in mining, they're going to pri prioritize in construction, and they're going to prioritize in, well, before they prioritize any of that, they're going to prioritize in cleaning and hauling, because, you know, that's our general plan. But once they've done that, we'll go for a uh, very much construction type thing, which is going to be good. Let's hope that these wires get put in and they do actually link up. I'm hoping they link up to this door, but we might have to do that. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. And that should link across there. Yeah, that one's linking to that door, so that, that should link across there. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see what happens. Are you going to link across? Let's, uh... Yeah, we look good. We just need to get those in there. Oh, my God. I just realized what we're missing. Wow. That would have, uh... 
That would have annoyed a lot of people if I didn't add one of these, wouldn't it? We need miscellaneous. No, what is, what is under then? Production? Furniture? Where's my platen pot? <laughs> oh, decoration. The only one thing that is actually in decoration. I couldn't find it. Good stuff. Yeah, we're going to have a, uh, you know, we need to have a plant pot. Let's get a wooden plant. Whoa, look at that room. That is something else. Let's get a wooden plant pot. And a wooden plant pot here. You know, if we click off this, because this showed up as red anyway, it should. Oh, wow. That is, I don't know if I would want to live in that room. You know, it's, uh, it's bright. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely something. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Kind of matches the, uh, the heater, I guess. <laughs> but we got another two beds, which is nice. So, you know, if we get anyone else, then, uh, then we're going to be able to do that. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait. I've decided during my ramblings that we are going to go ahead and we're going to try and open a cryo caskety thing and see what pops out. Who knows? Uh, but I'm going to wait for everyone to wake up because uh, it's a little bit of a jaunt. It's going to be a day out for our people here. They don't generally get to have a day out because, you know, I kind of secluded them in once I told them they can't go hunting anymore. So we're going to go for a walk and... A group of pirates. Looks like we're not gonna be doing that then. Are they gonna? Are they coming straight down? Why is he giving that guy a piggyback? Is he like, uh, you know, you always see he actually is giving that guy a piggyback. That's a, is he actually giving him a piggyback? Male scavenger of the red equipped pistol. <laughs> He's got EMP grenades. Uh, that's actually really bad. That could shut down our uh, shut down those guys. Uh, all I can think of is some giant brutish guy with like a little midget on his back. I, uh, you know, sorry. I uh, have nothing against midgets, but that is uh, pretty... F oh, no, he jumped off. <laughs> oh, geez, they're uh, going to bombard us. Oh, if that's the game you want to play, then I very luckily got set up for that in the last episode. Let's find Toxos. You're going to come down here. Oh, let me uh, do that. Man the mortars. Who else is our number one guy? Where's uh, Orange John... Rothschild, where's, oh, Turtle, there you are, he's gonna moan, like, you know, because they've been drafted for so long, their needs aren't taken care of, they're gonna moan, uh, we'll grab you, and our other decent shot was, uh, we've got Turtle, Toxos, John, where's John, John, there you are, man the mortars, we're gonna rain steel down on these guys, gonna be amazing oh I should probably uh, go ahead and tell them where to fire as well it's gonna be up here yes set target we're gonna target their mortars because we're pretty uh, you know pretty badass like that and I think they're only putting one more up which is kind of nice so we'll target there uh, actually no they're doing two aren't they got one there and one there and that's actually good because they're right next to each other these mortars by the way are horribly bad at their aim but hopefully once they've uh, been battered a little bit, they actually will come down and try and do something about that. Let's uh, set up this one to here. There we go. And let's do this one to here as well, I guess. Well, once we've taken these out, they'll actually come down and assault us. But uh, that's the chances that we can actually take one down. Our people are generally a pretty rubbish shot. I'm going to keep an eye on them here as well to make sure that... We don't get in too much of a problem. Oh man, that was a really good shot. <laughs> oh my jeez. Uh, you see what I mean about a bad shot though? I don't think they stay here forever though. I think they will actually eventually come down to attack. Oh my god, one of them is running away. They literally just got shot and he was like, nah, no, I'm out of here, I'm done. Bluebird has, uh, he's left. He's, uh, he's put on his backpack and ran. What have we got? A couple of people left. I think they've given up to be honest. They're probably going to come and invade us in a minute. Oh my, but Jesus, that was a shot. Where are we getting hit? Oh, oh I really don't want to have a fire in here. Can we, uh, people, orders, zones, home region, sort that out now. Oh, they're assaulting. Good stuff. All right, so you guys can undraft, sort the fire out. Please don't burn your hands. Thank you very much. Yes. 
And uh, let's get everyone going. They're gonna moan even more now <clears throat> because, uh, you know, they've only just got off their mortar duty. But at least we have, uh, do we even have everyone coming down or have they ran away? They ran away. <laughs> oh, we didn't manage to catch anyone though, but we did get, let's have a look. Uh, gear. Uh, this isn't, this is saying they don't die though, but there is a lot of resources up here and this stuff can burn. So hopefully it's uh, not going to do that. We've got a Kevlar helmet and armor vest, not bad, devil strand pants. That's an M16 and uh, some EMP grenades. Did the midget get blown up? Midget got blown up. And everyone else is doing a runner. Well, that's actually pretty good. You know, everyone uh, everyone can relax. Go do whatever it is you need to do. Can I undraft you now? Can I undraft you now? There we go. Go have a drink. Go do whatever you need to do. Because we won that fight. Hands down, won that fight. Wow, they got proper owned as well. That last mortar fire was slap bang on the money that was. I am uh, i don't know who did that. I'm probably going to say it was Turtle because he's my number one man. I think you already know that. But I, uh, you know, if I had if I had any artwork, then uh, then I would award it to him. But unfortunately, I don't think I have any art. No. Why, why haven't we got any art? I thought we, uh, I thought we was making art to make money, you know? Make art, make money. Doesn't look that way. Toxos's birthday today. He turned 46. He turned 46. Wow. Where are you, little man? There you are. How are you doing on the old health front? He's alright. Actually, we should probably look at the age of all our people. I know it's something that you, uh, you know, you don't want to be ageist about, but they can actually get a little bit uh, rough around the edges in their old age. So you've got an old gunshot wound to the right lung. So you're in pain. You're constantly in pain, rough child. Wow. Breathing is weakened. You have efficiency of 90%. See what I mean? You got injured. You're 34. How's everyone else? Where's everyone else? Nico. 25. All good. Minty. 17. Wow, young one. And... Orange is 17 as well. He only just joined. That's insane. And John is 23. He's just fine. If there was anyone that's going to be injured, it would be like, uh, you know, like Toxos or Turtle. Because they've been around a long time. No, he's perfectly fine. He's 24 as well. So the oldie of the group looks like it is Toxos at 46. That's insane. Cool beans. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be that for today's episode. I'm sorry that we didn't get to open one of the caskets, but you know what? I've made my mind up. We are going to do it. We'll probably do it in the next one. And uh, for the sake of saving your, savoring the surprise, I am going to read the comments on this video because I know that there's someone out there who's going to ruin it for me. So, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold off because I want to know what comes out of that. I want to be shocked. I want to be surprised, you know? I wonder if, like, a little bit of money drops out or, like, a little bit of gold or something. You know what? I'm cool with that. It's a surprise nonetheless. If a mutant frog jumps out, then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to scream. But it's going to be amazing, and we're going to experience it together. So expect that in the next episode. We had a little bit of, uh, a resistance here, and, uh, they got done. That is, uh, that was not very nice. <laughs> and, uh, did we lose everything in the fire? We did. Although we still got our EMP grenades. It's not bad, I guess. We'll go get those. Cool means. All right, the uh, storm is setting in. The night's coming, and uh, winter is just around the corner. I think. Where are we? May? Oh no, no, we got ages. We're uh, pretty much only halfway through the year. 2000, uh, 2013. Wow, we're a little bit behind there as well. Just turned 2015. Didn't you know? <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you soon for another episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like as it helps the channel out a great deal. And if you're new to the channel, then of course you can subscribe to see more awesome content. Have yourself a great day, have a good time as always, and goodbye.